Hey everyone, welcome to Christmas with Chris again. And I want to share with you a passage today that's found in Luke chapter 2, uh, starting in verse 16. It says this, So the shepherds hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. A few months ago, we were having our partner dinner, which is kind of our uh, membership piece uh, within the jar. We have a couple of meals each year in which I talk to all of our partners about uh, the vision, what's uh, going to happen in, in the coming year. And in the midst of all that, there was a lot of activity, a lot of things that we were organizing for that. And I got in the car and I was heading home and uh, got home, was pretty worn out to be quite honest. And that next morning, I woke up to spend some time with God and I felt like God was saying, Chris, way too much activity. You need to just spend some time alone with me. Less activity, more of me. You know, in the story today that we looked at with Mary, her whole life has been filled with activity for the last nine months leading up to the birth of Jesus. There's been all this activity of uh, her and her relationship with Joseph, whether or not they would stay engaged. Uh, the activity of angels coming and speaking to her and Joseph, of uh, you know the shepherds coming, the angels coming, the actual birth. And everything happens and it's finally done and Mary has that moment just to be like, ah, and to reflect on things. It says she pondered these things. You know, God came downstairs from heaven to earth in the form of Jesus, not for you to be filled with hustle and bustle during this season, but really for you to have one of those ah oh, moments and just kind of ponder on the things of God. I hope today that you'll do that, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.